Hello YouTube viewers and fellow Honda Insight owners. What we're looking at here is the Hyperion EOS 0720i Net3 AD Multi-Chemistry Charger Discharger System. For those of you who may be watching this video in the interest of RC modeling and getting this charger for your RC models, my main point of interest and focus is going to be on the software because on the website it claims that the charger can be fully controlled through the software and that sure beats punching a lot of buttons on the front panel. Now does it really live up to this hype? There's only one way to find out so let's see what's in the box. Okay we have instructions quite a lot of instructions we have <laughs> we have really bad shadows that's what we have but we have uh, balance connectors for your lipo batteries quite a few of them we have the charger and we have a USB cable an AC power cord some other connectors alligator clips or crocodile clips whatever you want to call them and we have the charger itself let's go ahead and pull it out of the box and get the box out of the way this charger discharger system is very feature rich but I'm going to cover only those features which are relevant to the purpose for which I bought it namely testing the nickel metal hydride battery in a first generation Honda Insight. One of the capabilities not printed boldly on the front of the box is the discharge. It's 50 watts at a 5 amp maximum rate. Now let's take a close look at the charger itself. Here we have the program and operation buttons which if you use the software you'll never have to touch. Over here we have the DC output jacks here is the balance port for lithium batteries. This is the network port for connecting two chargers together. It has nothing to do with using it from a PC. We have the temperature sensor input and the USB port. This is the DC power input. Cooling fan and the AC power input. And this is one of the main reasons I purchased this is because it will run on AC power. I pointed out the temperature sensor port but failed to mention that a temperature sensor is not included. I bought one separately from a different vendor. Here it is right here and even though it claims to be compatible with all Hyperion chargers this one doesn't work. I've contacted the vendor and they are sending a replacement but it hasn't arrived in time for the making of this video. The printed user manual contains the address for this main web page where you can find links for the firmware and update utility, the EOS control and data suite and the interactive user manual, and the USB driver. Now finding the USB driver is a bit of an exercise. We'll go through it now. Scroll down to the bottom of this page where you will find Hyperion Firmware, Software, and Connectivity Index link. Click on that. Now you will find Drivers, Connections, and Cables Guide link. Click that. Scroll down a little bit find the click here for HP TI PRG USB driver download instructions click that now we have a link click here now to visit Silicon Labs for VCP driver kit click there here's our final destination the software for installing the USB driver for Windows XP Server 2003 Vista Windows 7 and Windows 8 is right here According to the instructions on the website, 
the software suite requires revision 5.9 of the firmware or higher. So let's see what revision we have here. 4.7. So it looks like the first thing we're going to have to do is a firmware flash. Power up the charger now. Here we are, version 5.9. We're ready to get stuck in. I said interactive manual when I meant to say online manual, but let's take a quick look at that. Click on the EOS control and data suite. I'll scroll down just a little bit and you'll see right here ECDS manual. Now we have our manual. It has a lot of information so it is worth a look. There is also a link to get to the uh, USB driver. Well, I thought there was. Ah, right here it is. An alternative way to get there. I'm going to include direct links to these pages in the video description. I'm going to give just a brief overview of operations of the charger. For a much more detailed look, please read the online manual. To get started, click on the plus, go to Memory Editor, double click on that, let the information load, go over to the memory bank, select one of the 20 slots, such as that one, put in all your information here, and you are ready to go. If you have more than 20 batteries, you can use the backup and restore functions here to swap out different profiles for an unlimited number of batteries. Go to Control Function. Select the battery that you want to perform the operation on. Select your operation, whether it be charge, discharge, or cycle. Let's select cycle. Tagging information. You can tag it, uh, I would suggest session one or something like that. I'll leave these just the way they are. Cycle direction. Charge to discharge or discharge to charge. Select one of those. Number of cycles that you want it to go for, the delay between each cycle, then hit start. It's not going to work at the moment right now because I have no battery. In the data viewer you can see information on the current or just finished cycle. Now of course since I haven't done anything these are all empty. For a more detailed look at what has just finished or what is going on Go to the log viewer and it will show you information on what the charger is doing. To see charges and cycles you have done in the past, go to charge statistics. Now you can select which one you want to look at. Let's just look at this one. And select view details. Now we can see a graph of voltage versus time. You could also see a graph of voltage versus capacity. Pack internal resistance versus capacity. Ampere versus time. And a whole other list of things. You can also export this information as either an XML file or as a tab delimited text file. I hope you found this video useful. In the interest of keeping it relatively short, I've glossed over a lot of stuff. I recommend reading the online manual if you want much more detailed information. If you have a question or comment, please leave it in the section below. And thanks for watching.